is up, guys? How you guys been? I missed you. No, I'm just kidding. No, but seriously. So I wanted to talk about something that I've seen lately that it kind of rubs me the wrong way, I guess. It uh, it has to do with moto vloggers and stickers and apparel and that type of thing. You know, I'm fairly new to this game and I've uh, I've only been doing it for a short period of time. Thankfully, my channel has grown pretty quickly and it's it's taken off and I, I appreciate all the support I've gotten from everybody. But I, I still know my place and I know I'm a small time vlogger and you know, I'm just growing my channel as it is right now. And really, I, I didn't expect to have any you know subscribers or anything when i started doing this i, I just kind of thought that it was something cool for me to do to get my thoughts out there and just to have fun with it what i the trend that i've seen with a lot of new motor vloggers that are starting out now is they get to the point where they get 20 subscribers and they already order 200 stickers to try and sell who are you you know, nobody knows who you are. Oh shit, I gotta turn here. <laughs> yeah, who are you? Nobody knows who you are. Why should anybody care? Now, I understand you're looking forward to the future and you wanna grow your channel as big as possible and, and you're trying to find ways to do that. But that just seems stupid to me. And it's almost a slap in the face because it's, it's as if you're saying, like, I'm a big deal, and nobody knows who the hell you are. You know, guys like like Downshift83, who sells a lot of stickers and other and other things, uh, keychains, uh, res covers, t-shirts, etc. Um, you know, he's been doing it for years. Years. And he didn't start selling his first batch of stickers till he hit over 10,000 subs. So... For you to have 20 something subs and like, I don't know, three videos, it's insulting. It, it really is. I've had people already ask me, hey, witness, when are you gonna put out some stickers? You know, I'd love to, you know, exchange stickers with you or buy some stickers with you. And the honest truth is, I'm not going to make them. And if I, you know, not anytime soon, anyway. I'm more concerned about just doing my motor vlogs to have fun and have a good time and meet new people and. I just enjoy doing it. I'm not trying to do it as some sort of source of income. If you're getting into moto vlogging uh, as a source of income, so you can sell stickers and t-shirts and things, and you're doing it for all the wrong reasons. I mean, I know guys like Downshift and Chase and Yummy and all these guys, you know, they sell a bunch of stickers. And I'm pretty sure that on most of the stuff, they're, they probably just break even. Maybe even sometimes they lose a little bit of money on some of the products that they sell because they want to get it to you for a reasonable price, a price that seems like, you know, something you would actually pay for a sticker or for a t-shirt, but it costs them the same or more to make the damn thing. So. You know, it's it's a dumb reason to, to try and start doing it if you think you're going to make money. And these are guys that have, you know, Downship has, I think, 30,000 subs, you know, 30,000 plus. Chase has 100,000 subs, things like that. So, you know, if, if these guys are barely making money off of it, what makes you think you're going to? I don't know. It's just a little, a little infuriating to see these newcomers, you know, who have, you know, 20 subs and three videos try and sell stickers and other crap. Nobody cares. How about you focus more on your motor vlogging before you start actually trying to sell crap? Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Focus on putting out good quality videos, and then maybe somebody will actually want to buy your, your crap.